Good Tuesday evening, Southeast Texas. A pretty dramatic uh, slide in the temperature department coming up within the next 24 hours. We will be very warm and humid in the morning here in the Triangle. That's not going to be the case in the lakes as the front will be moving through. Expect a pretty good chance of rain, maybe a few thunderstorms coming up by noontime, but it's not going to be an all day rain across Southeast Texas. But what we will see is temperatures falling. I think some areas could be into the upper 40s by about 7 p.m., especially up in the lakes area. Could be a little cooler than what I have by 6 p.m. here in the Triangle, but again, You'll need both wet weather gear and rain gear coming up for tomorrow, especially by tomorrow afternoon. Snow, the flakes are flying up into the Texas Panhandle. Northwest Texas could see uh, almost a foot of snow, maybe a good 8 to 10 inches up near Wichita Falls, northwest of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Otherwise, here locally, we're expecting a cold rain as that front moves on in towards the lakes area late tonight. That'll knock temperatures down into the upper 50s, we think. Otherwise, the front will limp uh, across the area and it's going to take a while for it to move on into the triangle. I don't think it's going to move into the triangle until the afternoon hours and that's when we'll see our best chance of rain as temperatures continue to fall in the lakes area. I think we could see temperatures falling again into the upper 40s to lower and middle 50s as that front pushes on the rains will go with it. Otherwise uh, the snow will stay off towards our north and west and in fact yesterday we had this a little bit closer. The modeling has now pushed this away from Huntsville back over to Bryan College Station could see a mix there staying well northwest of our area. So again, it just looks like a cold rain this round. I don't think we'll be throwing any snowballs coming up Thursday morning across southeast Texas, unfortunately. Would like to have a uh, surprise, but I don't think it's going to happen this go around. On the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow, choppy to rough seas around uh, three to five feet in your coastal marine forecast. We'll see south winds shifting west. Our forecast tonight looks wet. About a 30 to 50 percent coverage as the cold front moves through the lakes area. You'll see your winds shift north, but they'll remain south here in the triangle. Low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s lakes area and into the mid to upper 60s here in the triangle for low temperatures. Then temperatures will continue to fall throughout the afternoon and a uh, good chance of rain. I think we could see temperatures falling into the upper 40s by, say, 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening and into the lower to middle 50s here in the triangle. Otherwise, you get one or two cool days by Thursday after temperatures only around 40 degrees. It's still above freezing. Hard to make snow that way. We're at a 53 on Thursday. That's chilly with sun, but we bounce back up to 67 on Friday. Saturday has improved. The front comes through a little bit earlier, so I think we're going to have a lot more usable weather on Saturday with sun returning and a high near 70 as our winds shift to the north. Otherwise, Sunday looks sunny in the morning, but increasing cloudiness and dry weather. So the weekend looks pretty good. However, it looks very unlike early February for Monday and Tuesday with highs well into the 70s. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com. Stay safe. Have a fantastic Tuesday night.